So the last five days I've been talking about the love languages. So here's the thing about the love languages. If you cannot master the love languages, in my opinion, your relationship is dying and pretty close to being dead. That's my opinion. That's what I've seen over 19 years of working in this field. Now, conversely, it doesn't mean that if you can uh, nail the uh, love languages and actively do them, doesn't mean that you're going to live happily ever after. Happy ever after. That that's not how it works. However, what I can say to you that if you're in a relationship where both people in the relationship are actively living out the love languages, actively showing appreciation and affection to their partner, their spouse, uh, using their using their partners or spouses' love languages you will have a really great relationship. It will be, it will, over time, it will become uh, very loving um, and satisfying. If you cannot, so if you say to me, well, David, you know, the love language is all well and good, but it's, you know, it's garbage. Well, that's fine. But I can assure you that majority of the people I see, couples that I see, and I see four or five couples a week, the majority of the couples I see are not acting or living out the love languages. Because what the way they try and show love to the other is a way that actually pushes the other person away. The only way you can draw someone to you is to, pre- is to show them love and affection in their love language. That's the only way it can work long term.